I have been working on the prompt accordion for a collaboration I am participating in later this month, and I have created numerous things for this collab. This particular project was inspired by my four-year-old granddaughter and my two-year-old granddaughter that asked me in a FaceTime session to draw them a star and draw a Spider-Man or get a Spider-Man. My four-year-old granddaughter wanted the star. The two-year-old wanted a picture of Spider-Man. So that is where these were created. My name is Peg. I call my channel 2 Ocros Mixed Media. I hope you'll take a moment, subscribe to my channel. I like to create concise, to-the-point videos, show you what I'm going to do, do it, and then show you what I've done. I can also be found along the web. I am working on redoing my website, so that's a work in progress. For this project, I started with 140 pound 11 inch by 15 inch watercolor paper. I am going to trim or cut, measure that watercolor paper into three and a half by three and a half inch squares. So I'm going the 11 inch side and marking three and a half inches. That is going to be where I cut the strip. So I'm lining my metal ruler up with that three and a half inch, and I'm just going to take my X-Acto knife and cut right down that. This will give me three strips of three and a half inch by 15 inch paper, which is going to create the base for this accordion fold project. So once I have those strips cut, I will take it to my fold board, my scoreboard, and score this at the three inch mark on the 15 inch side. So we have the three inch mark scored. We're gonna fold that up and just use a bone folder to define those folds. My bone folder's really seen some better days. And I want this longer, so I'm just going to glue two of the strips together. And now to add some color to them. And I'm using household items to add the color. That's a furniture pad I glued to some sticks, an old thread spool, a drain plug, some bubble wrap, drywall cloth, a comb, a lid, a piece of cardboard, just chunk. Starting with a gray blue, going to add some antique gold and phthalo blue. I'm going to stick with these three colors. Just brayer those out into a thin coat on the gel press. And start with that sink mat and see what we get. Little drywall paper, some of that furniture pad, drag that comb through, and we should have some interesting marks with all of that activity. Add some more paint onto the press, little cardboard, the lid. Come back with the comb. I really like the comb. It's just a cheap plastic comb. You can buy them in packs of six or seven at the dollar store or Dollar Tree. And they make some interesting marks. So do these sink mats. I think I went to the Dollar Tree and just looked for different things. I purchased that little um, drain plug the sink mat and pack of combs and the furniture pads. And I may have $3, 3 or $4 in, in all of that. And the whole purpose here is just to get some color, 
your base coat down on this accordion fold. There's that thread spool back with the comb again. That lid. And we're almost to the end of this side one and side two. And this blue I'm going to use for May's star. And now I'm creating, this is cardstock. I'm just going to rip it, this into a couple of, rip it in half, and I'm going to create some stencils with my scissors. So I'm just cutting a triangle there on the edge. And when I open that triangle up, or open this up, I get this shape. Try some rectangles. And I'm just creating stencils because I want to come back on top of the paint that we've already laid down and add an additional color, perhaps, with, this, with some stenciling. But I wanted to keep this project where you were kind of creating all of your items that you were using so there was nothing purchased, nothing manufactured. You're just using items from your household. So there we have some squares, some circles, the rectangles, the uh, Triangles created little diamond type shapes, so let's start with that one. And this is just a silver. Brayering it through that cardstock stencil that we created. And let's see how that looks. Not bad. Let's try the rectangles. And that what I'm I'm sticking a little retarder in that ink because it's really dry in my studio right now because I'm running a space heater and it just dries the air out and the paint dries so fast. There's that rectangle. I like the way that looks. Let's come back with the circles. I think I'll use the gold for these circles. And we're starting to get starting to get to the end of the accordion fold, getting the second application down. So we laid the color down first, we came back and we stenciled. And now for step three, we'll do some mark making. So I'm putting the black ink on my gel press just as my palette. I'm dragging that comb through that black ink and just kind of defining some of those areas that I had stenciled or had originally laid color down with the comb and just making some random marks. Both sides, of course. <clears throat> Excuse me. And a small paintbrush and just random mark making. I want to come back and define some of those circles by going around them and just some random mark making. And there, I think we have the color pretty much laid down on this. And she did ask for a star. So now the star part. I'm drawing stars on a book page. And I will cut around each and glue those stars down 
onto this accordion fold. So the stars will be created out of book page. Let's get them glued down. I want to come back and define them, and I'm just utilizing a black Sharpie and going around the outside edge of each. And I'm using two Sharpies, one medium point <clears throat> and one fine point. With the fine point Sharpie, I'm just doodling. And I shall doodle in each star on both sides. And we'll fill each star with just little random doodles. And it's starting, starting to fill up, starting to look better, but there are quite a few stars on each side. I'm not going to bore you with the, the doodling on each and every star. I think you get the idea. So let's move on to the next step, which I have decided, since we are putting stars on this accordion fold, I have enough room to illustrate out or to write out Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I'm utilizing stamps, and I just am, have laid those in place with that word twinkle and used a piece of um, masking tape to masking tape my, my stamps together so I get that kind of all lined up. And we shall continue on with Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, How I Wonder What You Are. And we will... Get that all stamped out, cut out, and glued into place. And I'll just go back and outline all of those words with the medium or the thicker Sharpie. And now this is an embossing pen. And I'm just putting that down around the outside edges so the embossing powder will stick. And we'll set that embossing powder with the heat gun and add some sparkle to these stars. And I used a um, silver embossing powder. And I'm going to do that for each and every star along this accordion fold. And nothing is ever complete without a few drops of the liquid pearl. So I'm coming back in with some liquid pearl drops. And we will get those all into place and allow those to set and dry. And once that is complete, I want to frame it with this black ink pad. And I'm just going to go around the outside edges and then define each fold with the black ink. So now we have that complete. Let's fold it up. And I want to be able to Keep it folded, and we'll utilize a ribbon for that. I'm going to paper clip it shut 
right now and glue that ribbon onto the back. And tie that up with a bow. And that completes the Twinkle Twinkle Little Star Accordion Fold for the her younger sister. I did cut out Spider-Man images and I stamped out sight words. So she will have that with the Spider-Man. So there are the three that I completed. This is the one that I did in the Altoid tin earlier and that you can pick up on my channel. That was done with toilet paper rolls and I created the accordion fold to fit down inside the altered Altoid tin. So this is the Twinkle Little Star booklet created for May. This is the Spider-Man Sight Words created for Mel. So those are complete. This is the one I was working on that I abandoned or set aside to do the one that the two granddaughters wanted. So thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed. If you will subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it greatly. The likes help the channel, help promote the channel. Your comments are welcomed and I always read them and appreciate everything you say. Thanks.